It all started with a signature. We've had the busiest uh, few months we've ever had. Um, it's, it's really just been spiraling out of control. It was been pretty busy. You know, I've been getting a lot of calls. Immigration attorneys are working to keep up with heavier caseloads of people affected by the travel ban and tougher enforcement within the country, and those worried they could be. And the roller coaster ride isn't over yet, despite two federal court decisions to keep the temporary restraining order against the ban in place. Attorney Shauna McLean says the key word there is temporary. It's really more of a pause, but I think it gives some hope in that more people are actually galvanizing and coming together and actually um, forcing the, the, the government to actually uh, operate under the rule of law. And President Donald Trump said Friday he's considering signing a new immigration order early next week as the original makes its way through the courts. Certainly Trump could try to put forward a more narrowly tailored travel ban, um, but I think at the end of the day, um, if he tries to focus it on Muslim majority nations, um, the statements that he made during the campaign are going to uh, end up biting him. Lawyer Matthew Borowski says that's because courts take intent into account when making their decisions. In the meantime, work on current cases will continue as attorneys and clients wait to see what's next. In Buffalo, Sarah Blazonis, Time Warner Cable News.